All right, so for this assignment, we will be using SketchUp and we will be recreating this figure. I did resize this to 38 because it was a decimal and that was a little confusing. So the base is 107 by 48. So we rectangle tool 107 comma 48, and now we have this. It says that this little edge here is 11. So you can take the pencil tool, go from the corner, measure 11, and go across. We're always gonna go across the colored axis. It also says that it goes up 41. So now you can use push-pull, go up 41. Nice. Now you wanna focus on this arc here. So it said, you know it's gonna be perfectly centered because 48 says that it starts 24 units in. So this can be perfectly centered. So just for the sake of making everything look nice, we're gonna cut that in half. It says that it's 13. So 13, what you can do with the number 13 is cut it in half and go one direction, half of that one direction, half the other direction. So 13, you can go six and a half this way. I'm just gonna pull this down as far as I can. Instead of going right back and clicking, I'm just gonna click the pointer because you just made your one line. Now you take the pencil tool, you measure six and a half this way, 6.5, go down a good amount, Good, and click the pointer tool. So now we have those lines kind of getting started, and we want to make what looks like a circle here, but a half circle. We can make a full circle and just delete that. It says that the center of that circle is at 25 units. Also remember, you have to work in millimeters or meters here. So the center is 25 units from the ground. So we can go and measure 25 enter, which will come up right here. And now you want to make a circle and once again, 6.5. When you do that, these lines should turn dim. If they don't turn dim, then something's wrong. And you wanna take these lines and you wanna delete them, not hide, you want to delete them. And you wanna delete all of these lines and now you have that arch that you wanted. And you just take push-pull, push it through, and it should be able to delete. These lines, you can't delete them because then things will open up, so we won't even worry about those. So we did that. Next thing is pretty much um, we're going to assume that this arc part is right at the middle of what's left. So that's we're going to make a couple assumptions here. So you're going to make assume it's right in the middle from here to here. So you find the midpoint and you go colored line across. Good. And it says that it is 38 units um, wide. So 38 units, that's 19 in each direction. So you can go 19, enter. Pretty much there's a lot of measuring at the start. So you go 19, and we're gonna go 19 over here. Measurement, and then you go across. So now that's telling you that this whole arch thing is going to be this wide. So that's, that's how we wanna view that. There is also this circle, and I'm gonna tell you right now, we're gonna ignore everything that says R, R13, R6 here. The circle, that symbol means diameter. So if that means that right, smack dab in the middle, which is going to be here, there's a circle with a diameter of five. So using some math, a diameter of five means a radius of 2.5. So that is something that we can do. Remember, you don't wanna hide any of these lines, you wanna delete them. So we have that. And now we can actually make the circle here. So the circle, remember, it says that the diameter is 38. So if we make a circle, I'm gonna use, press the left arrow, find the center, and remember, if it has a diameter of 38, that's a radius of 19. So I make a circle there. Delete, delete, you can even delete the middle, and now you kinda of wanna be left with this. You can even delete this bottom area. You do want this circle still there, though. So leave that circle there. And you could probably delete this and that. So you're kinda of like setting yourself up. Now, this says the height is 11, so that means that all of this is 11. The whole, it's pushed out 11. So you can take the offset tool, which is here, click the arch, go up and write 11, enter. Now you have that. And then you can use push pull to pull it across, all the way across on edge. And ooh, that looks a little different. We'll solve that next video.